hit shift space to play I'm gonna hit tab and again as you can see I can toggle that outline I... hello everyone this is Payan welcome to Undesign channel in this video we're gonna go through animating a button inside Figma uh, and basically animating a button uh, as a component so whenever you use it you're gonna have that animation no matter what so as you can see we got our primary button going on here and we created this in another video on, on how to create a complete design system from scratch I'll make sure to put a link down in the description as well as the playlist so you can go ahead and watch it but yeah without further ado let's just jump right into it and see what we need to do first thing first we need to um, choose a group of button that we want to animate so uh, this style of buttons th this column actually they're all from the same family so they don't have icons or like they're not um, icon justified or right icon and you know um, we're gonna go with this uh, group first then we're gonna like I'm, I'm gonna animate this off camera and update the design system file um, yeah so first thing first you need to select the, the default state so this is th this one as you can see, let me zoom in a little bit okay which is this one then what you can do is basically uh, you want to connect it to its hover then uh, to its pr um, actually this is gonna be the pressed um, actually not uh, this is gonna be the like clicking and pressing but this is the pressed action like when you want to activate it via tap tap key so I'm gonna show you how how you can do that basically so this is the default state what I'm gonna do is just um, connect it to more hover state so this is the hover state and then I'm gonna change the trigger to while hovering right and then set it to smart animate and maybe is in and out and the uh, 300 milliseconds actually okay so yep yeah, maybe 150 yep then uh, that is the hover transition I what if I want to add the press I am just gonna create another transition and connect it to this one and then change the trigger to key gamepad right and then click to select I'm gonna click here and hit tab on my keyboard and click elsewhere like that and you know these are already figured out because I created the hover then I'm gonna connect this again to this one by key and gamepad because we want to have actually a, a loop going on we don't want the we don't want the animation to stop somewhere and you know stay at the like hover hover or press so um, let's also connect this one to this and set the trigger as while pressing and re the rest is okay and yeah basically that's it and the, the other thing we need to do is just connecting these three together so whenever like um, we hover on these like uh, basically I, I want to hover on these and click I, I need to t trigger this animation too so another thing I need to do is just connect this one to this and then set it to while pressing and the rest is okay same here and set it as while pressing and again same here connect it to this one and set it as key gamepad hit tab like so and yeah let's go ahead and test it and see what we have right now so I'm gonna select this duplicate it and bring it here and then hit A on my keyboard to create a frame to see it on prototype. And then let's center align this one. Select my frame, hit play, basically hit by selecting this, we can basically hit shift space and it's gonna open it right here. So let me increase the size. So as you can see, if I hover over my button, it activates the hover mode. And then if I click on it, you can see that it activates the press and if I hit tab as you can see it again um, triggers 
um, the, the outline um, around the button. All right, so as you can see, I can click, and in order to disable, basically, discard this one, so we, what we can do, like uh, you want to remove the border, right? What we can do is just connect it once again to this button, and again, set it as key gamepad, and again, use tap as a toggle. So again, let's go here, hit shift space to play, I'm going to hit tab, hit again, as you can see, I can toggle that outline. If I, I can click like so, I can hover, and basically it acts like a real life button as you would like have it on a website. So yeah, yeah I'm going to go ahead and do this to all of these, as you can see, also these. And I know it's going to be tedious, but you do, do, you do this only once, and you can use it basically whenever you want. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, please leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.